What do we have here? Yeah, it's a little rifle I picked up in a state sale. What is it, a musket? It's a musketoon. Does it play a song? I'm coming down to the pawn shop today to try and sell my musketoon that I picked up at an estate sale. It's just something that I haven't really seen before. I paid $200 for it. Just hoping maybe I'll get a big payday. OK, it definitely looks cool. Do you know anything about it? It looks like it's maybe from London. I really don't know any history of it at all. These were really popular in the 1700s, especially with the English Navy. They were a really effective weapon when they boarded a ship. I mean. Look how many pieces of glass or nails could shoot out the end of this and thing. It's point and shoot. It was made for clearing decks. It's so heavy, you know, that it's solid metal. It would make an incredibly good club like this. Yeah. And that's what they used them for. One shot, turn it around, start beating people with it. A musketoon is just what it sounds like. A shorter, higher caliber musket. They were designed for maximum damage at short range. As you can expect, pirates loved them. <sighs> There's definitely a few problems with it. The spring that holds down the frism is missing. And we have a busted stock here. The whole lock mechanism looks in rough shape. Do you think it's old? Um, I think it is. But then again, they fake things and put them in rough shape so they can resell them. Antique gun collectors love rare weapons, but there's a lot I don't know about it. I need to know if it's real, and I need to know how this condition affects its value. I wish there was a way I could prove these cracks actually happened in battle. That would really raise the price. So did you want to pawn this, sell it? I, I want to sell it. My problem is I just don't know enough about this thing to even make you an offer at the moment. OK. So if you don't mind, I'd like to make a phone call, get someone down here, have them check it out, and we can go from there? Sure. OK. All right. Let me give him a call. Great, thanks. Well, I think it's cool he's called an expert in. That way we really know what I have, if it's just a reproduction or a fake, or if it's the real thing. Right, how you been? Right, how are you? This is what I called you about. Oh, cool. My name is Sean Rich. I own Tortuga Trading, and I specialize in antique arms and armor. This is a pretty good-looking blunderbuss. That's a blunderbuss, not a musketoon? The musketoons were the earlier forms of the blunderbuss. You know, as time went on, they got more refined. They used these things for almost any practical application. They would use them for ship-to-ship -ship combat, but more importantly, as a personal defense weapon on the coaches. Wealthy people always traveled in a coach, not on a horseback, so they needed guns like this for protection. How old is the gun? I would say this would date to about 1750. Sweet. What's really nice is the side plate, because it depicts a panoply of arms. That's very ornate. This was made for somebody wealthy. OK. There are some issues I want to point out, though. The restoration process on this would be very difficult for this reason. The wood has started to warp. OK, so it's now bowing out. So to try to put this back is going to be very, very difficult. OK. The hammer is a replacement of the period. So it's not the original. original. No. The average gunsmith is going to have a very difficult time trying to restore this gun. Sometimes these parts have to be handmade in the same way that they were made back in the day. OK, so with all that, <laughs> what's it worth? As is, it's worth probably 1,000 to maybe 1,500. Thanks, Sean. Absolutely. OK. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. All right, take care. Um, what are you looking to get out of it? Well, I'm thinking 1250. <laughs> Think again. <laughs> How about a thousand? <laughs> no, because I'm probably going to sell it for a thousand. I'll give you 600 bucks. <laughs> 750. <laughs> I don't like things like this walking out the door, but any more than seven, I'm going to let it walk. OK. That's right. more than I got in it, so. All right. Chum, you want to write them up? Yeah, let's do this. Meet you over there. OK. We sell on 700, so I'm walking away with 500 bucks profit, so yeah, I, I'm loving it.